So guys, let's talk about the MacBook, because if you purchase a MacBook or any other Mac, you probably don't want to use Safari. I mean, in case you want, that's okay. But if you want to install Google Chrome, you have to follow a process. So I'm going to show it to you right now. So the way it works is that you, of course, on your Mac, locate Safari, make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi and all the stuff. So make sure that you're connected to internet and everything is set up. I assume that you have a brand new Mac because you only have to do it once. Anyways, you open up Safari and you can go to google.com or just type it in right there to the search bar. So literally type in Google Chrome. Now, the first link that's going to pop up, maybe an ad, maybe the Google website without the ad. Anyways, just click on the official google.com. I mean, you don't go to the App Store just like you do it on the iPhone. A lot of people have it like set in their mind that apps on Apple devices can be only downloaded from the App Store which is kind of true on the iPhone but on the Mac it's a different thing so don't try to find Google Chrome in the App Store because it's not going to be there like only some third-party apps Google doesn't offer or publish their apps on the App Store anyways you're gonna go to the Safari again and to the link that we clicked on and here the first button is literally download Chrome you're gonna click on it and it's gonna show you this page right here so it gives you like a quick tutorial but click on it download Chrome and accept and install. So you're going to go like this. Now you're just going to wait for the download to install. And if not, click on download Chrome manually. Then in the download section here at the top of the uh, screen or it's Safari window, there is this arrow down and you can see that it's currently being downloaded. So Google Chrome.dmg, it's the disk image file that we have to download. Now you're going to just wait until it gets downloaded because it has about 200 megabytes. So definitely wait until it gets downloaded to your Mac. Once it is downloaded, then you open up the finder. It's uh, the icon or the app that allows you to track or like browse your files. And it's going to be in the, the downloads folder, probably the first option. So Google Chrome.dmg, you double tap on it. And you pretty much just follow the instructions. You just uh, grab the Google Chrome and you just move it to the applications folder. This may change in the future. So perhaps you maybe uh, may need to accept some sort of terms and conditions and stuff. Now you're going to be able to find it here in the, the finder if you click on applications again and it should be here but also here in the launch pad at the bottom in the, the dog you can tap on it and it just shows you all of the apps i would advise you to, to just grab the google chrome and add it to the bottom dock because it definitely is helpful and you can just always access it from anywhere because it's in the dock and now you just open up the google chrome set it up like log in with your uh, google account to like sync your bookmarks and the data with all the other devices and yeah you can pretty much just start using the google chrome hope this video helped you out and if you want to see more videos like these check out how to download like google calendars and other google apps on your uh, macbook because yeah google chrome is the obvious one but there is also calendar drive and other stuff so definitely check out this video right here and we can see each other there